Hello guys, what's up? Adrian here from Appsit. So uh, during this video, I will I will use the Appsit platform to generate uh, a simple full stack uh, full stack web application that uh, uses um, a really nice design uh, powered by React in the front end and the simple uh, Node.js API as the backend server. I will pick uh, Horizon UI, which is uh, Design on top of chakra and it looks super super nice. Before the uh, generating the product, you can uh, visualize the, the interface here. We have a small demo. So the application, uh, the UI comes with uh, many pages, profile, NFT market. Also has a, a dark mode out of the box. So uh, let's do it and see how it goes. Once the design is selected from, uh, from the previous uh, step, uh, here we can choose uh, from different uh, backend servers. Uh, I will choose the uh, Node.js one because it's super popular. Uh, you can also, of course, choose uh, Django, Flask, and uh, soon uh, we will provide uh, Laravel. In this, um, in this screen, uh, you can customize your database layer and uh, deployment to enable or not the Docker scripts. I will use the default and uh, generate the product. By default, uh, usually the, the process should not take more than one minute. Um, and the, um, the sources are automatically uploaded to, to GitHub, uh, of course, under the MIT license. So uh, you can see that uh, this file was created 30 seconds ago. Okay, let's wait to to uh, while all the sources will be available on GitHub. Uh, once the project is uh, is generated and the UI confirms it's, it's successful, the the process was successful. I will use uh, JIT to download the sources and the VS Code to um, edit and uh, start and compile the project into my environment. Uh, for newcomers, Absid uh, is a platform that uses um, in-house uh, automation tools to generate uh, web applications uh, on top of uh, modern UI kits that are actively supported and uh, versioned by by our partners. Um, Creative Team is an agency that we are working for with, uh, with for more than two years. With them, uh, Coded Teams, they are super skilled uh, React developers. They have many popular uh, designs among our users. So uh, let's see the, the process. So now the process is finished, it's flagged as success. Let's go to the GitHub and uh, uh, clone the sources and follow up the instructions provided in the generated readme. Okay, I will open a terminal and clone the sources. Code. So being a full stack product, uh, the application uh, requires a separate build for the front end and the back end. So I will split the windows. First I will start, I will compile and start a, the back end server because it's the one that provides the authentication logic for a login logout and registration. We have here the steps. Okay. I will use Yarn to build the product, but feel free to use NPM. I prefer Yarn because uh, it uses a uh, local cache and uh, usually it's much faster. So the first step is to install the modules using the Yarn uh, command. Uh, the second command is to reverse the database migration. The product uses type where to handle the database with ease. And the third step is to just to start product. I will uh, concatenate all the three commands, not to copy one by one. 
and at the end we should be able to see the product up and running at the same time we can uh, start uh, compiling the the front end we have here the instructions okay i will use also yarn to compile and start product um, this phase uh, of modules installations might take a while depends and depends on your internet connection um, but in my case should be less than a minute because we have a good in, uh, internet speed here in Romania okay so the backend it's almost done now the migration it's it's executed all looks good and now the api server runs in the browser we can access the api server for the react ui we need to wait a little bit longer as we all know that react is not so fast when the sources are compiled okay so once the front end and back end are up and running uh, we should be able to uh, register users to authenticate and access the private pages by default the application is not provided with any default user so you need to create one in order to use the application okay so now react uh, uh, starts the ui i feel starting the development server okay so the ui is up and running um let's use this one wrong credentials of course this user is cached by by the browser as mentioned before we don't have any default users within the app so we need to create a new user here i will use a simple password you can visualize the value here Sign up. If the um, user is successfully created, we are automatically redirected to the sign in. And here we go. We have the product up and running, and the whole process uh, was around two minutes or, or three with all the modules installation and stuff. So we have here the, the UI, we have here the logout, of course you can create other users and play with the interface. In case uh, you have any issues, uh, don't hesitate to contact us on the, on the support page here. We are 24-7 also on Discord. Uh, you can contact us uh, using the email. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, accessing the generator um, um, you can build other products the source code is released under the MIT license so you can use it in uh, you can use it in commercial products you have here the license terms so it's super permissive we are supporting all our uh, users we have a big community on discord uh, tell us what you think about about the tool and uh, feel free to suggest more more features to to be added uh, to the generator and to to our product thanks for watching i wish you all a super super day bye